Hi, in this video, I'm going to talk about fatty acid metabolism, both anabolism as well as catabolism. So let's talk about fatty acid anabolism first and then fatty acid catabolism. Fatty acid anabolism means fatty acid synthesis. What are the raw materials for fatty acid synthesis? The raw materials for fatty acid biosynthesis are acetyl-CoA and malonyl-CoA. So where does this acetyl-CoA come from? The acetyl-CoA is present inside the mitochondria and with the help of uh, citrate synthase enzyme, it's converted into citrate because acetyl-CoA cannot directly get outside into the cytoplasm and all the reaction of this fatty acid synthesis takes place in the cytoplasm. So acetyl-CoA have to get out into the cytoplasm in order to perform the other reactions. So acetyl-CoA first get converted <coughs> into citrate with the enzyme citrate synthase and gets outside of the mitochondria into the cytoplasm. And in the cytoplasm, citrate is again converted into acetyl-CoA with the help of enzyme citrate lyase. Now this acetyl-CoA would perform two things. One, it would take part in the condensation reaction for fatty acid biosynthesis and from this acetyl-CoA, malonyl-CoA would be formed and one very important enzyme is acetyl-CoA carboxylase. As it is a carboxylase enzyme, it would add a carbon group as you can see uh, acetyl-CoA and malonyl-CoA. Malonyl-CoA has one carbon group extra and this carbon carrier is biotin. So for any carboxylase enzyme, biotin acts as a CO2 carrier. Now, second thing is, where does the reaction of these fatty acid anabolism takes place? What is the, What are the enzymes? It appears that the enzymes are not isolated enzymes. There is a huge complex called fatty acid synthetase complex. This fatty acid synthetase complex is comprised of seven uh, domains, seven active sites, and in E. coli, multiple polypeptide are responsible for these big complex. But in human, one polypeptide is present and it has seven domains. And the enzymes present in this domain, we will uh, find them step by step. But back to the uh, first step. The first step is condensation. Condensation between what? Acetyl-CoA and malonyl-CoA. So acetyl-CoA and malonyl-CoA would be condensed. And the entire reaction of these fatty acid anabolism would take place on the phosphopentathene arm of ACP. So the phosphopentathene arm looks like something this. This is the chemical structure of the phosphopentathene arm and the vitamin pantothenic acid takes part to form this chain. Now, in this huge complex, the fatty acid synthesis complex, we have our malonyl-CoA and we have our acetyl-CoA and they would condense. And after condensation, uh, this condensation reaction would be triggered by beta-ketoacyl ACP synthase. After condensation, it would produce something called beta-ketoacyl ACP. So this thing is called beta-ketoacyl ACP. Why it is called beta? Because if we a term this, this is a 0th carbon. So this would be alpha carbon and this would be beta carbon. So in the beta carbon, we have something keto group. So that is why it is called beta-ketoacyl ACP. Then it would undergo a reduction reaction. So the basic scheme of the next reaction would be reduction, dehydration, and further reaction, reduction. So inside the cell, the reduction would take place with the help of NADPH. And where does this NADPH come from? This NADPH come from pentose phosphate pathway, as you remember. So from pentose phosphate pathway, NADPH is generated. And this NADPH is used in this reduction reaction. And NADPH would be converted into NADP and it would reduce this beta-ketoacyl ACP into beta-hydroxyacyl ACP. 
so you can see in the place of keto group now we have a hydroxyl group in the beta position here is alpha zero alpha and beta and we have a hydroxyl group in this position so it is reduced to beta hydroxy acyl acp and the enzyme would be a reductase enzyme so the enzyme name is beta keto acyl acp reductase or kr so as you remember kr is a integral part of this huge fatty acid synthetase complex now back to the reactions the next reaction would be a dehydration reaction dehydration reaction means water would be expelled out of the system so from here water would be expelled out and a double bond would be formed so uh, it would be enoyl acp it would be enoyl acp or unsaturated acp then what will happen further reduction reaction would take place and again the reaction reduction reaction would helped by nadph which comes from the pentose phosphate pathway and it will reduce this double bond into a total uh, butyryl group so this total thing is a butyryl group and it is called the butyryl acp so the whole cycle would be repeated over multiple times so after a first cycle uh, the total number of carbon is here four and after two cycles again condensation would take place and the total number of carbon would be six and then eight and up to 16 carbon this cycle could be repeated to form 16 carbon palmitic acid so this is how the fatty acid anabolism takes place into the cytoplasm of the cell now let's talk about fatty acid catabolism and fatty acid catabolism would take place in the mitochondria so in order to uh, these uh, breakdown of fatty acid we need the fatty acid inside the mitochondria but the fatty acid cannot get inside the mitochondria directly so uh, fatty acid first have to be charged so fatty acid with the help of co coa ligase acetyl coa ligase acyl coa ligase fatty acid would be converted into fatty acyl coa and with the help of carnitine acyl transferase it ha there, there are two carnitine acyl transferase in the mitochondria carnitine acyl transferase 1 and carnitine acyl transferase 2 with the help of carnitine acyl transferase what will happen fatty acid would get inside into the mitochondria inside the mitochondria the reactions that would take place is just the opposite as the fatty acid synth synthesis the first reaction is fatty acyl coa would be converted into alpha beta enoyl coa and this reaction would be catalyzed by acyl coa dehydrogenase it could be uh, taken as a dehydrogenation reaction ultimately the thing is it is oxidation the whole thing is oxidation so hydrogen is removed from this part and here we would have hydrogen if we see these two parts we would see the, um, the number of hydrogen is reduced so that means there is an oxidation so this first part is oxidation but remember our first part of the fatty acid synthesis part pathway was reduction but here we have oxidation then what we have we would have a hydration reaction hydration means addition of water just in contrast we uh, there we have in the fatty acid fatty acid synthesis pathway we have dehydration that means removal of water but here we have addition of water here we have addition of water so in the beta position we have addition of the hydroxyl group and this is called beta hydroxy fatty acyl coa and the enzyme that performs this reaction is enoyl coa hydratase and after this hydration reaction another series of oxidation reaction would take place and uh, these oxidation reaction is catalyzed by beta hydroxy acyl coa dehydrogenase again our dehydrogenase enzyme so these oxidation reaction would ultimately produce a keto group at beta position 
So this is also called beta keto acyl CoA. After beta keto acyl CoA, what would happen? Thiolase enzyme would take part in the reaction, and thiolase would break down these fatty acyl CoA and produce a molecule of acetyl CoA. And from this fatty acyl CoA, from this fatty acyl CoA, further cycle of beta oxidation would take place. Again, a molecule of acetyl CoA would be produced from this uh, breaking down this compound and up to, uh, and uh, the breakdown of these whole fatty acyl CoA would take place so this was a overview overview on both the fatty acid anabolism and fatty acid catabolism reaction but the main thing uh, we have to see that the fatty acid anabolism and catabolism uh, both uh, takes place inside the cell but one take place uh, i mean the fatty acid anabolism reactions take place in the cytoplasm in the cytoplasm whereas the fatty acid catabolism reaction takes place in the mitochondria now uh, the basic reaction scheme for the fatty acid anabolism and catabolism are quite different just opposite to each other we can see so first step would be reduction then we have dehydration and then we have reduction but here what we have we have oxidation then hydration and then again oxidation so in this way these two pathways are related hope you have enjoyed please like and subscribe thank you